Hello everyone. In the previous session, we have discussed linearity property of DFT. In this particular session, we will discuss the second property that is periodicity property of discrete Fourier transform. So let's see what exactly a periodicity property of DFT. So if a sequence x of n is periodic, with periodicity capital N. Capital N samples. Then capital N point DFT that means capital X of K is also periodic. With period capital N samples. Now in statement it can be written as if DFT of X of N is capital X of K, then X of N plus capital N will be equal to X of N for all values of N and capital X of K plus capital N will be capital X of K for all values of K. So these are the two important statements for periodicity property and it is of two marks. Now let us prove this particular property. So as we discussed in the previous class that for any proof the first statement should always be the formula. So I can write dft of x of n is equal to capital X of K which is summation n is equal to 0 to capital N minus 1 x of n e to the power minus j 2 pi k n upon capital N. So now let us check capital X of K plus capital N is equal to capital X of K or not. So for that we will find out capital X of K plus capital N. So we know the DFT formula is N is equal to 0 to capital N minus 1. My function will be X of N e to the power minus J 2 pi K plus capital N into small n upon capital N. Now this can be written as summation N is equal to 0 to capital N minus 1 x of n e to the power minus j 2 pi k small n upon capital N dot e to the power minus j 2 pi capital N into small n upon capital N. Now n and n cancel out. So I am having summation n is equal to 0 to capital N minus 1 x of n e to the power minus j 2 pi k n upon capital N and e to the power minus j 2 pi n will be equal to 1 because e to the power minus j even pi n is always equal to 1. So finally this particular DFT is actually capital X of K. Hence we prove that capital X of K is equal to capital X of K plus capital N. Now let us prove X of N plus capital N is equal to X of N for all values of 
n. For that, I need to write down the IDFT formula. So we know that IDFT of x of k is always equal to x of n which is 1 upon capital N summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 capital X of k e to the power plus j 2 pi k n upon capital N. Now as we need to prove x of n plus capital N is equal to x of n so I can write x of n plus capital N is equal to 1 upon n summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 capital X of k e to the power plus j 2 pi k n plus capital N upon capital N. Now this can be written as 1 upon n summation k is equal to 0 to capital N minus 1 capital X of k e to the power minus j sorry plus j 2 pi k n upon capital N dot e to the power plus j 2 pi k capital N upon n where capital N capital N is cancelled out. Now we know this particular result is the formula for IDFT. Now we discussed earlier that e to the power plus j 2 pi k e to the power plus j even pi k is always equal to 1. So I can write this part is my x of n and x of n is equal to x of n plus capital N. Hence it is proved. So by these two methods we can prove the periodicity property of discrete Fourier transform. So this is all about today's session. We will discuss circular time shift property in the next class. Thank you.